So we continue with the time domain analysis, uh, time response analysis, uh, uh, lecture number uh, five. Okay. So we continue with the transient response or this transient response. So it is a gradual change of output from initial, initial value to the desired condition. Sudden increase in value we call it as a transient response, sudden change, sudden change in the system, we call it as a transient response. Right. Example is lightning. What happened to our system? If a lightning or thundering occurs, sudden there is hike, sudden hike in voltage current, there is a sudden fluctuations in the system, the system becomes unstable. So this is a condition of a transient response example, right? So see the block diagram of a first order system. Input is RFS, output is CFS. Here the transfer function the value is k divided by 1 plus 2s plus 1 k is b, 2 is time constant. So by the definition itself, the input to the system should be a state function. First if the input we get the, the transfer function like this, uh, should be a state function which is given by the following RFS equals 1 by yes. Right. So this is general form. General form is g of s equals c of s will be r of s equals k divided by 2 is plus 1. So here, what is my c of s output equals g of s into r of s. That is gain function, that is uh, transfer function into input the segment. Right. So output response c of s equals 1 by s into k divided by 2 is plus 1. Uh, here RFS equals 1 by S because unit step input to take Laplace transform, we get 1 by S. So 1 by S into K will be 2 S plus 1. So talk, take partial differential equation A by S plus V by 2 S plus 1. Okay. <coughs> if you equate it and uh, you find the value, uh, then we get the value of A is 1, V is uh, um, minus 1. The final equation of uh, uh, first order uh, system is uh, for unit step input C of t equals 1 minus e to the power of minus t by 2. Right. T by 2. So this is the equation of first order system. Right. If you plot this, uh, we'll be getting a graph like uh, One second, if we get a graph line, okay, if we get a graph like this, because it is exponentially increasing, take this as y axis, this as x axis, so here the responses started increasing exponentially, after a particular time it comes to zero. So the, it is an exponential uh, increase. So here, this is my output C of t with respect to time t, right? So this is my C of t for first order system with unit step input. Then we discuss upon our second order system. Right. So look into the general form of second order system. GFS equals k omega squared divided by s squared plus 2 sigma omega right. n into s plus omega n squared. Right. So here omega n is undamped natural frequency. Zeta is damping ratio. K is gain. So GFS equals K into omega n squared divided by S squared. Okay. So if you take a uh, uh, root, if you uh, there is a quadratic equation, there are two roots. So S1 and S2 the roots are minus zeta omega n plus or minus omega n square root of zeta squared minus one. So this is uh, these are the two roots of this equation. Right. So natural frequency omega n is frequency of oscillation of the system without damping. 
Then what is damping ratio? What is damping? When the system is subject to a disturbance, it, it starts oscillating. So we have to damp the oscillation, we have to stop the oscillation. There is some force which is opposing to stop the oscillation to bring the system to steady state. So that the process equal it is to damp. So what is damping ratio? So quantity that compares the exponential decay frequency of the envelope to the natural frequency. So that is zeta. That is ratio of exponential decay in frequency to the natural frequency in radians per second. So that is the value of zeta. Thanks for watching. We will continue in the next class.